Okay, I want to tell my deconstruction story. And so this happened a number of years ago. And it started with uh, some people acting like uh, not Christians, let's just say. And they, uh, there was a lot of manipulation, a lot of control. And I just, it really disturbed me. It really shook my faith. I really thought, well, you know, if Christianity is all about change, then why aren't people changing? Why are people behaving this way? Where's the change, right? Where's the, the new creation that the Bible talks about? So it really shook my faith. I really went through a season of like burnout. I, I actually went through burnout. I didn't want to go to church anymore. Uh, but in that time, I started to read the teachings of Jesus, like the Sermon on the Mount, right? And I really wanted to see, okay, what, what, you know, where's the truth in this? I was looking for the truth in it all. And so as I began to search, uh, you know, and, 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 and I really was shaken. I was questioning, do I believe in God? Do I believe in Jesus? Is Christianity, you know, what, where's the truth? And, and the teachings of Jesus really began to speak to me. I've realized that, you know, I wasn't sure about a lot of things, but I realized that there is truth in Jesus' teachings, right? But why didn't I see it in people, right? I couldn't let go of the fact that these teachings of Jesus were just profound and powerful and good, right? And so, and then I began to question, like, well, why, why don't we see it in people's lives? Why do I see these people that aren't acting the way Jesus taught? And it really disturbed me for a while, really shook my faith. For a couple of years, uh, I really wrestled through this, and I kept reading the teachings of Jesus, the Sermon on the Mount, and and then I began to remember things that God had done in my life, miracles, things that, uh, you know, like encountering God, and, and I began to remember that other people had those experiences too, and so I began to realize that my folk, where, where's my focus? My focus was on what God didn't do or what, you know, what wasn't happening. And yet I began to remember the things that did happen, the things that God did do. And it really began to change my perspective and, and, and bring me back. And so what I want to encourage you with is that you got to find your own encounter. You got to find your own relationship with God because when your faith is shaken, that is what you will go back to. Those experiences, those encounters with God, is what you will go back to, and it will keep you. It will keep you steady. It will. It will keep you in the faith, and, and even when your faith is shaken. So I just want to encourage you. Uh, you got to find your own faith in God, not just not the faith of your parents, not the faith you grew up. You grew up in church, you know, not not because you grew up in church. But because you've encountered God, you've seen him for yourself. And I want to encourage you that if you ask him, if you seek God, you will find the truth. And, uh, you know, I found that truth and uh, changed my life. And I realized that God is real. You know, God is real. And we can't look at people. We can't look at what people have done because there's, there's different kinds of people out there. You know, we've got to keep our eyes on God and what he's done. And... Uh, don't be afraid to ask the tough questions because God will answer you. God is not afraid of your tough questions. Uh, it's the Bible says, those who seek will find. And I want to tell you, it's the truth. If you seek, you will find. If you really want to know the answers, seek them in God. You know, I mean, you can ask people too, but, but ask God and he will bring you to the answers. All right. God bless you guys.